What is up guys, it's Soulbash. We are back today with a different game. This is Shards of Magic. Uh, it's a free to play game. Uh, if you're interested in playing it, there is a link in the description below. You can download it. This is a sponsored link, so it will help us out here at the channel. And what this is, it's a kind of a semi-turn base. Really, it auto plays your main moves and you've got special runes and abilities that you can use uh main menu i'll go through the uh, things day to day that's kind of uh, obvious at your daily login so you check in and we receive some gold three days in a row looks like you get an extra reward right there for five seven ten fifteen twenty and twenty five pretty nice also they have a feast daily so i'll go ahead and pick that up uh, you get points for first gemming up, level packs, and buybacks. Uh, so there's a lot of goodies in there. We got a collect chest here, online rewards. So you get rewards just for being online. Uh, quest, we are looking at, that's one I finished earlier. I've already played a little bit, you know, just to familiarize myself with the game. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna go into the party. This is the original character I started out with. When you first start the game, you get a choice of a female character or a male character uh, to be your main character and then these are the ones you start out with you find this one along the way and I got this one out of a, ch uh, a chance of a roll on something uh, we'll get at that in just a minute but I mean you can put gear on them uh, so we're going to select that this is going to up the attack uh, and you can equip all it makes it a little bit quicker you don't have to go through there uh, different parties you can unlock those at a certain point i'm not sure and you can rearrange your party you know put them wherever you want to uh we're good like this so we're going to stick with that one and it's uh elemental base so um certain things do more damage than others let's check out the altar real quick uh we have let's see a basic roll okay we have an ultimate roll check it out guaranteed what a five or a six star? What do we get? Alice. Oh, that's trippy. That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, we're going to back out. 280 diamonds to summon one. Uh, 2520 for 10. Not too bad. Uh, not real sure about the monetization of the game. Uh, but let's get into the actual game part. Um, let's see here. You have uh, tips and rankings you can get into your bags and once you go through heroes your gear loot archive uh, hot event that is probably a event going on currently yes it is uh, you get rewarded for topping up I would say uh, but let's get into the campaign I'll take you through some of the maps now basically once you pass the map you get a star on it and once you complete a star you get to open a chest I've already collected that one so we're going to go through this uh, and show you the gameplay this tells you your potential drops at the top and it's only gonna cost five and we're gonna go ahead and go in now this is what I was telling you about let me move this up out of the way a little and you see it kind of auto plays a little it does its skills on its own I don't even have auto play running um, it's a basically turn base you have your own moves once you level up and get more stuff you get more moves that it automatically does and you have these over here the bottom right of your screen uh, these are runes once you have enough room power you can actually use these things and I'll show you what they do here in just a second um, this is blizzard that's uh, really cool animations to these things uh, very good graphics for this type of game um, it's similar to the turn base, like I said. Uh, it has a lot of talking through it. So it's got a nice storyline to go with the game. Uh, real cutesy, it's actually kind of sarcastic in some ways as well. Um, let's try this one out, see what it does. That's a huge guy, and it hits them all. And you can see top, middle, three out of three that's the third part of the stage so it'll tell you how long the stage actually is and it looks like we've picked up one chest already from it and let's go ahead and finish this chick off with a blizzard if that doesn't take care of it and it did nice now we're going to speed it back up to two 
auto doesn't unlock until like level 9 and I think I'm only like 7 so just like I would like to thank you for my life I'll go stay with these things uh huh crisis is not over well, we're ready to take care of it like I said dress let us take care of it all right we're almost level 8 after the fight you get rewards sometimes you do sometimes you don't and it's just random I guess Lancer looks tough okay now I guess this is still part of some of the tutorials so we're gonna level this guy up okay it wants me to click on him is this something I haven't done yet absorb two ways to level up your hero Ch chakra and or absorb you can level up heroes by using chakra or absorbing unwanted heroes either way you'll need to spend some gold too okay auto add okay these are kind of like slimes these remind me similar to uh, some stuff in castle clash oh it's been a long time since I played that one all right and we have another collect reward being online go ahead and pick that up and let's jump right back into it actually we got something in the party we can look at real quick um, yes this right here at the bottom Vanguard it kind of shows you like characters that you can put together they get a bonus for you know being together so uh, that's, that's pretty cool defense and attack buffs for using them together and uh, let's actually see what we need to uh, see Okay, that's I'm not sure we'll take a look at it later uh, let's get back in the campaign we'll kill some more stuff all right we have four more stages left until we finish this one and another unique thing about this you know you see the view we're in right now you can actually change that just by swiping your finger across the screen you can actually go to the other side or you can stop halfway you know, different aspect of the field go ahead and use uh, one of these blizzards to go ahead and take some of this stuff down and this is only one of one so this is just a single fight nothing major to it breeze through it that should put us up to level eight it does nice and got some gold and some uh, goodies there earth water fire and wind okay check out our quest all right we can collect we got some more gear cool all right, now we have quests that we can do to uh, equip armor. Okay, and let's equip all. Simple. All right, and quest is flashing again, so we will collect that reward as eight thousand gold. Uh, clear chapter two. Okay, so let's go. Let's clear chapter two. for a game this state well I wouldn't say the state of it but you know just starting out this game was released like a couple days ago um, last I looked at over a million people are playing it uh, so it's very popular um, I, I do look forward to actually playing it some more after this uh, that's a lot of stuff over there it's only one of one so let's go ahead and use as much as we can right here to try to take them out these rune skills Fisher, and we're still running at two times the speed. And they're dropping pretty quick. Now your rune skills, they do come back. Notice after everybody takes a turn, it counts down. So after every turn it goes through, you get the chance to use it again after those turns have been used. But well, they died before they did come back. All right, getting pretty close to nine. What do we get? The chest, an elixir, and long dagger. Elixirs are used to uh, kind of ascend your character. You notice there's a plus one beside the uh, character Solbash that I have that is my main character. I ascended him earlier when I first started. Uh, it's pretty nice to boost your damage and attack uh, defense. Picking mushrooms wants to be a nice way to live. It's disgusting. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> Alright, one of one again, so we're just going to dump all of our runes into it. See if we can't clear this stage pretty quick and the uh, two times feature that is pretty nice uh, only other features we have exit sound and continue so we will continue and 
this one here. Hopefully this fisher should take care of these two. Nope, left one standing in the back, piercing rain. Got her. No chest out of that, but this should level us up to nine. Yes, it does, which unlocks the autoplay, which I'm assuming that all it's gonna do is allow, allow us to use the autoplay feature and uh, more or less use your runes when they're available. Crystal's getting warm. Now the crystal it's referring to when you first start out, uh, you collect a crystal from a big fight and there is an awesome looking panda in this game as well. Let's go check out the rune screen, okay? Now this is another ability. Um, I'll show you the runes that I was talking about. The runes are the ones that we've been using to uh, attack with. And Okay, we will check it out, the Fury Rune. Let's get back into it and we will try this one out. And then we got one, actually, this is the boss fight. So, uh, yeah, nice. We get to use a new rune to kill this boss. Two times the speed. Oh, what is that, a three times on the bottom of it? Okay, one of four. So we're gonna save some of the shard energy down here. It only costs 35 for that last one that I wanna try but I don't want these guys dying before we do get to the boss. Oh, that was nice, he was immune. They got up to the top left uh, with the spear. He's real tanky type. And I'm starting to learn, you know, the aspects of what some of these other characters are capable of. Obviously the mage there doesn't have very many hit points, so they drop off pretty quick. I'm gonna use this. That way we can try to knock some of this stuff down because it's only two of four. We got a good ways to go before we get to the boss. And the ball stages are interesting as well. Once we get to it, uh, I'll kind of explain to you what it does. Oh, she keeps blocking. All right, block this. Get you some. Nice damage on it. And this is what I mean. All right, Crystal's getting warm again. Same match as before. I knew it. I knew it would not be so easy. My puppet, this is my enchantment failing. You, you must have a shard of a there. The crystals in my chest is a shard of ether. What is it? An ether. Ether is the crystal power over the four elements. Okay, cool. I do believe you do not want to pull it from your chest. Really? Well, let's go. Use the blizzard to begin with. It does pretty nice damage to all of them. And it freezes. Nice. And we will drop a fissure that leaves... 126 room points for me. Um, Ugly feeling reminds me of having a physical form. Now this is what I was talking about with the boss fights. You kind of fight them three, cause see I'm only on three or four, uh, and that's the boss right there. So now it's actually going to go to four or four, where you actually fight the final form of this guy. And I say final form because it's cool. All the bosses like evolve and take you to some weird atmospheric space all right and we're gonna try this new skill whoa fury that's awesome attack up we're gonna drop all the runes we can he's got a good bit amount of health all right let's drop the blizzard see if that takes him out it does 400 damage to the normal guys oh we got a freeze out of it awesome now the fissures are up blam strange it's like some kind of magic power flew from his body into mine. You, how could you? No one's ever wielded the aether like this. I will return with all the strength of our army, the daggers of my... Dund... I, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Allow me to once again to extend my thanks. Friends, you saved our people. Who are you? I'm Soulbash. What's up? Till next time. And that is awesome. Do we get another level up? No, we're still nine. Two elixirs and an old that fragment. Cool. Got some unique icons. He got away. We will get him. Almost forgot. And here's the chest we're going to collect from completing all of them. Pretty nice rewards in it. It's got gems in it. So we'll be able to save some of the gems up and try to get some new characters later on. Uh, we got somebody that wants some help. An enormous tower, huge, massive tower. Mm. Okay, okay. I feel like something magical is about to happen. The spire. 
Let's go there at once. We must go. All right, first floor. Ah, oh, cool. It's a uh, progression tower type deal. One of one, so we're just gonna drop runes on it immediately. Just go ahead and kill them. This should take everything out. No, it doesn't. Oh, so they're actually gonna be very formidable and not just one hitters at the very beginning of it. Got a dodge, limb toss, He's gonna throw a branch at me. And that took him out, that wave move, that is nice. That is one of the abilities that I upgraded from uh, ascending my character. And a victory. We got a chest, silver chest, and a silver key. And looks like we can continue on up this. And that we will do that in the next video when we play this again, guys. This is Shards of Magic. If you want to play this game, it is free to download. The link is in the description below where you can pick it up for free. And it also helps the channel out because it is a sponsored link. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Solvash. You guys have a nice day.